The bones in the wing of a pterosaur are not that fundamentally different from the bones in the arm of a basal reptile, an ancestral form, or even that of a human. All three of these individuals, a basal reptile, a pterosaur, and a human, have two bones of the forearm, the radius and ulna. They have a series of carpal or wrist bones. Now, uh, pterosaurs do have one which is highly modified and unique, forming a pteroid bone. Um, but nevertheless, there are a series of bones in the wrist. Pterosaurs have three fingers made of metacarpals and phalangeal bones, as is typical. The fifth finger in the pterosaur hand is highly reduced and in early forms is represented by a small splints of bone uh, which would not break the palm. The most significant feature of the pterosaur wing is the fourth digit which would correspond to the ring finger in humans. In pterosaurs it is huge and highly elongated. The metacarpal is robust and the phalangeal bones are very very long and support a membrane which stretches from the tip of the fourth finger to the sides of the body. The joint between the metacarpal and the proximal phalanx is a hinge joint which allows uh, most of the movement of the wing. And so a pterosaur arm is similar to that of most others if one can simply imagine that uh, while the fifth finger is reduced and there is a unique bone in the wrist known as the pteroid bone, the most significant feature is the highly enlarged fourth finger which supports a wing.